Hey guys, Run Buck with Run Buck on Games. I've got a new series for you. Why did it work? Uh, could have been titled Building One Tree 2.0. Uh, for those of you that have been around a while, we used to have a tool. Here it is. Uh, the One Tree that was basically a hierarchical structure by Town Hall in Google Sheets asking questions relative to the base you're looking at of does it do this? Is it that? Is it this? To help you guide you basically to a certain style of attack that would really work against the base. Well, the problem with that is hierarchy was kind of rigid, right? It, it kind of biases to certain attacks early, and you know it's it's not as flexible. And the theory was, let's do a tool that is more of a survey base, not hierarchical. And then those each survey question created had a score or value that, in aggregate, as you sum them up, added to that attack each attack type, and then you would have a total score for each attack type, and it'd be like, oh, based on my survey response, all these attacks have these different scores. I'm going to go with this one that has this score. That's the theory. But in this series, what we're going to do is kind of show you a base and an attack, talk about the base attributes that we think made the base work for that attack, and then you know look at the formulas of how we, well, what should the value of that aspect of the base be in terms of should you or should you not do the attack. And what I want is for you guys to kind of have a back and forth with me in the comments about what base attributes should I be looking at or not looking at that I don't cover in the video. Um, of course, I'll provide in the link and an ongoing as well a copy of this Excel sheet sorry it's not Google Sheets but too bad uh, but I'll provide a copy where you know you guys can for this each version download it and play with it if you want um, so if you can't see the sheet you can always download it and mess with it as well as a link to the base uh, too that'll be in the comment notes but I really want that back and forth you know where you kinda look at it and, and tell me what you think the key base attributes were um, and or the things you felt and how they should be weighted like out of a score of 100 100 being perfect great perfect base for this type of attack every time a question you ask if it's answered yes or if it's answered no that would reduce the score from 100 down that's that's how the tool would work so enough said let's go ahead and take a look at an attack uh, our first episode of this and see how it goes and then we'll just go from there war by war sound good all right let's go uh, here is the base that we're going to take a look at. Uh, Ops uh, was able to get a 77% on this, which is a pretty high percentage for a max Town Hall 11. Uh, so I thought it'd be interesting to first start with this one. So let's just watch it. And maybe I'll mark up a little bit as we go, but nothing too intense. Uh, let's I'll put it at two speed, and we'll pause real quick, and I'll talk about what he's trying to do. He's basically going to do a king-queen uh, suicide clear that AD and as I call it set the table basically clear this area right and then he's going to come back with a dragon cut team here and here and then to drive the main group right through here with some loon action so it's a drag loon attack with a king queen suicide on the front end okay but why did it work right so now that we've identified what it is we'll put it at four times speed here he goes so one of the things that I noticed um, was you have to get the AD down. I've seen him do this attack before where he didn't get to the AD, and you notice here he almost didn't get it, um, but you have to be able to get the AD down because otherwise your flank dragons here will then spread. And that setting the table is coming across is really pretty key because you notice how it keeps the dragons funneled this direction against the core defense of the base. Uh, the other thing was the CC was not an air um, anti-air type defense I think it was a golem and a loon yeah but if it's got a dragon in there I've also seen him fail against that but let's go ahead now and do the core of this discussion and then what I want to do ideally is that you guys comment down in the video in the comments section of YouTube on your your thoughts of different aspects of the base itself and so let's bring up the scout version of this that you think really enabled the base because then if you don't have those attributes then repeating this style of attack wouldn't work right and and as bonus I will maintain a link to this Excel sheet that I'm going to show you so you can download it and as we continue to add different attacks and links to these attacks that we're pondering over time you know it'll be it'll be something worthwhile right now it's not worth much <laughs> it's worth about two cents but over time it might actually help a little so here's the base, right? And so here is the actual sheet. Let me bring up the sheet now. Here you go. So let me walk you through the sheet. 
this would be in theory this these columns would be hidden and then uh, right here these questions are what you would answer on a given targeted base and that would produce a score in each column by formulas that I would set up against what you answered right so you can see here some of the scores being populated and this is telling you for this attack 11 town hall 11 dragoon 1 so it's the first dragoon attack at town 11 that we're tracking uh, ended up with a score well this is actually not the scores I was just testing but if, if we actually keyed in what ops had it was a clearly it would be a hundred percent right but the more interesting question here is what questions would you ask what I think is important right now is I think target stars are important so like if you're going for three stars this attack probably doesn't have the push power for three on most bases um, maybe it does you tell me the other thing is the king queen level uh, what I'm doing right now on the king queen level is uh, I'm trying to say you know if it's less than 30 then it's a no-go and what what I'm the weights here are doing is it's basically a goal of a hundred and if you get a number in here it's a subtracting weight so that's actually an error in the formula but I'll fix that but so the goal what I was trying to go for is if it's 30 or above you would be fine it would be just basically scaling down from 0 at, uh, at 40 down to negative uh, 100 at 30 and so I'll fix the two formulas for the king and queen because I think to make that king queen suicide work you really need strong heroes um, the other thing that was interesting is the base type. So here we have similar base, the similar bases tab. Let me move that over. And so my goal here is, you know, how certain bases have a certain f structure to them. They're different. They have tweaks, but there's a certain style. So I might create a log here in this tab of different styles and give it a name. I know there's names on the web. And if you guys want to correct me on the name, what this really is called, I'll I'll change it to that. I don't care. But in theory, over time, this would list a bunch of different base types. And if you didn't know what you were, you could look at this similar bases tab. Then uh, the other thing I thought was important was how many expos are down. You notice in the attack itself, there are actually all four expos were down, which I think is key. I don't know if you could get away with, like, if they were going 50-50, would it still work? I think what I did is I scaled it up to if 50-50 if were done, I would subtract 50 of 100. So it'd be at 50% weight of, of score, basically. If you just had expo downs, everything else was good. And maybe that's a little overweighted. Um, you might still be able to push through with all the expos up. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm gonna I'm gonna reduce that. I'm gonna make it like 15. So now every expo that flips up, the the scoring goes down by 15. The other thing you notice about the base, let me spread this out a little bit was the ADs. A lot of them were very close to the edge. And what that allows you to do is one it gives you the suicide king shot with the queen right so they can get to this one and the other thing it does is that the ranges of the of the remaining aid the remaining backside ad's which in his case were these two are far enough away to where you get pretty deep into the base before those engage right and this guy just gets overrun because you push in so one it's allowing an overrun on your main thrust and the backside ones don't engage to you kind of push into the mid so I think that's key as well, but you know, you again, I'm really wanting you guys to talk to me about this because over time, more eyes on the problem, the better. Uh, the enemy CC can attack air, so I said no, but that was a question I thought was important because I've seen him again fail. If he it was a dragon, it really tore him up. Uh, the infernos being on single didn't seem to matter, so I could, but I think they're on multi but if one was on single in the backside especially and you didn't use your freeze on that it could make it a little the attack a little more complicated he was using his freeze mostly he used the front freeze for the queen he attacked the queen side and then he uh, on the backside his freeze was the multi on the backside and, the, and you can see some of that on the attack details here like I comment um, within this and maybe I should just make this a little bigger we'll just go this way and then wrap this around Hang on a minute. But you can kind of see from this, hold on, I'm shrinking. There we go. Doesn't that look a lot better? I think so. I like Excel. And sorry to you guys that are all Google Sheets users and don't have Excel. It's all about what's easiest for me with the retired Rhyhorn, aka Runbuck. Uh, so I'm going to use Excel. But notice how my comments here is Ken, it's 70 plus king queen getting one AD is key and CC not hitting air. The other thing is 
if single, one single multi or inf inferno tower need to use freeze on it, I would think. Because it's going to really burn down your dragons if you don't. But uh, so that's why that's there. And then the royals. Can the queen queen set the table, meaning get that section of the base taken out? Because think about it. If you didn't, if you didn't set the table, if you didn't have this cut occur, where this whole section was taken by the king queen, the flow of the dragons after this, this, this slight, basically semi-cut teams. And the difference between a table and a cut is the depth. See how the table really goes into the base, whereas a cut just kind of gets one level in. Uh, you you get this run across feeling that you always see with great attacks against Town Hall 10 and 11s. Uh, if you didn't have the table and you still did your cuts, right, or you did a very weak king-queen push, right, where you're just here, the dragons might swing out more, right, and never get to this guy or take more damage from here. It just, the spreading of the dragons is a problem or the spreading of any attack. You need to have the base narrower to be able to do it. You need a narrow run. Uh, in my opinion. So that's why that's there. And then lastly, uh, can you freeze the Queen in the ex Expo? Um, I say the Expo, but really I don't think the Expo is key because it's down. So let me change that. It's really the freezing the Queen because you're going right in at her. So the front on the front on the front line with an eye tower maybe. You know, a plus and if so and if you can I don't know if that's a if you can't do the attack but I said negative 50 for that but maybe that's like negative 25 um, let me reduce that a little bit because I think you could if you couldn't freeze the Queen let's say the this attack line if you were in this attack line and you were coming in this way and the Queen was let's say back here instead would you would that Queen take out your dragons she does a lot of damage it may that could be a problem. So I think you've got to attack into the queen. Notice how she's here, because his freeze dropped right here on the queen itself. Let me fix that. That's too small. There. But his queen, his first freeze. Whoa, Lord. But his first freeze was right here. You know, basically took the queen out and the sweeper. Second freeze was back here, basically getting the sweeper and the eye tower. And I, so I think the backside sweeper is more important. Because you don't want your dragons getting pushed around as they're sitting in the core defense section of the base. You want them to just drive through. So, I mean, the key, I th so I'm going to stay with just can you freeze the queen on the front? On the front, on the, on the early, on the front of the attack. Can you freeze queen on front of attack? Let's just say that. And usually I refer to attacks in the front and back. Meaning, as you penetrate the base, that's the front, and the back side is the other side, past the middle. Um, and then lastly, the spells, can you freeze backside IT uh, that's on multi and a sweeper to keep the sweeper out of play. And so we can work on the wording, but so those were the, those were the scoring factors that I saw with the base. And really, you know, it's not, in this case, if we had a whole bunch of ones, you'd see a score. And, you know, again, for ops, if, let me just... Let me just make this his target starts like really for ops his whole thing would be this is just wrong well whatever we can just make it like this to make it go away but you're like dude I know what you're saying runbuck please stop <laughs> all right but anyway the score would be zero right or the rating would be a hundred instead of negative 100 and so you'd be like, oh, that's a great attack. So great attacks would be at a score of 100. Horrible attacks would be at a score of zero. We've got a formula here that I'll fix. But over time, as we do more and more reviews like this of why did it work, you'll have more and more attacks listed. And then you'll see multiple scores off the same questions, right? So I'll just create more column sets. And then as I create them, then we'll change weightings on different things to try to slowly over time build a scoring that seems to work. That seems to be right, right? So that's the framework that I'm going for. You know, basically you take a survey. It has generic questions overall for the offense, generic questions for the base overall, and then specific questions that are associated to a town hall level. And then what happens is then we get a scoring sheet off that where you can see all the different attack types that 
uh, and their scores based upon that information and you can pick one and then I might put links like here's the link where you click on it and it takes you to the actual link on the attack details page you see my comments you can see the phase the full you know kind of old slang that JTJ uses for the attack itself to kind of give you a feel for how this, the attack goes and I'll actually put once we post this I'll also put a link on it um, as another column. I mean, I'll just sh you know shift this back because we got room. And so I'll put a link over here where you can actually watch this replay and, and see and can see the attack. Right? Sounds good, I would think. So that's it. So again, what I really want to hear from you guys is as you look at the base and you think about oh, now it's mad at me. And you think about the list that I created, the, the things that I flagged as questions where these X's are. Do you think those should be weighted more or less, right, off of a score of 100? And the th questions, if they're not answered correctly, reduce the score from 100. Do you think that we should have certain ones factored more or less? Do you think, you know, you can just comment on what they are if you can't see it. You can, oh, again, I'll put a link out here so you can look at the formulas if you want, change them, do whatever you want. Uh, but also if I'm missing questions that you think are critical to why this attack worked. And then we'll go from there. Sound like a fun project for everybody to kind of collaborate on? I think so. All right, let's get to it. Worst case, I'll just work by myself. Bye. <laughs> Talk to you later. What am I going to do? My clan sucks. Hey, it's JTJ. Uh, I think that's an all-out attack. No, no. It's the legendary JTJU. 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 This army. Download Clash of Clans for free. Then subscribe to JTJU and win.